Uh, hi. Sorry for calling so late. Did I wake you? Okay, good. No, no, nothing's wrong. I just... Well... Would it be alright if I came over? Well, I was on my way home when my car broke down, and while I'm over a mile away from my place, I'm only a block away from yours. So, can I please come over? It's pouring out here, and I'm starting to lose feeling in my toes. Oh, man, you're a lifesaver. Yeah, okay. I'll be over there in a bit. Trust me, I'll be running all the way there. Oh, jeez. Finally made it. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, really. Just a little wet is all. Okay, a lot wet. Anyways, thanks for leaving the door unlocked. Saved me the trouble of waiting out there any longer. <sighs> God. I don't think I've ever been this cold. I can barely feel my hands. I figure this happens the one day I forget my coat. <laughs> yeah, some hot chocolate sounds great. But man, I haven't had any of that since I was a kid. Uh, hey, are the towels still in the closet? I need to dry my hair real quick. Thanks. Again, sorry for the unexpected visit. I know you don't have enough space as is. Guess that's the big drawback of a studio, huh? But I promise I'll be out by the morning. <laughs> Right. I should focus on drying off, huh? Oh wow, that was quick. <laughs> no. No complaints here. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I'll be sure not to burn my tongue. Oh, man, that tastes good. And it's already making my hands warmer, too. This is just what I needed. Yeah, I'm feeling much better. Thanks again. I definitely owe you one. <laughs> okay, I owe you one more. Honestly, you always seem to show up right when I need you, huh? I mean, just the other week you came over right when I was struggling to put my new desk together. I felt like I couldn't even read the instructions. <laughs> Stupid Ikea. <laughs> well, my point is, I'm glad you're always there for me. I don't know what I'd do without you. Tonight especially. Mm. Huh? What was I doing out so late? Oh, ah, uh, well... I was kind of just leaving my girlfriend's house, or ex-girlfriend, I should say. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. It's fine, really. I mean, we were only together for about two weeks, and it just wasn't right. Long story short, I went to pick up something I left there after she finally got off work. I was on my way home, and now I'm here. Well, yeah, I really did like this girl. I mean, initially at least. I just, I didn't think we were right for each other, and luckily she agreed, so no harm done. Huh? I always do this. Uh, always do what? Date girls just to dump them later. Hey, that's not something I do. Okay, so 
My relationships don't always last as long as they should, but it's not like I mean for that to happen. I don't know why it happens. It just does, okay? Can we move on to something else? I uh, still want to shower and... Jesus. I figured the storm was bad, but I didn't think it'd be that bad. Guess that lightning strike took out the power. <sighs> Looks like I'll be taking my shower in the morning then. Yeah, I'm sure the water still works, but I'd rather be able to see when I wash myself, thanks. Well, unless we want to sit here in the dark, do you have some candles or something we could use? You should have a few? Perfect. Here, I'll help you find them. Hey, I found three of them. Apparently these two are vanilla scented, and this one here is cupcake scented. <laughs> I'm sensing a pattern here. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm sure the place will smell really nice. And at least we'll have some light. There we go. Not much, but better than nothing, right? And now we won't have to drain our phone batteries by using our flashlights. Anyway, now that we have some light, do you maybe have some extra clothes I can change into? I doubt it'd be a good idea to sleep in wet clothes. Though, I can't exactly do anything about my underwear. <laughs> well... If a bathrobe is all that'll fit, it should be fine. You can pass it to me in the bathroom while I go change. Uh, yeah, I said in the bathroom. Well, I know there's no light in there, but I just figured it'd be, you know, awkward if I changed out here. Uh, no, I mean, I've done it in front of you before, but... We're older now, and I just figured... Oh, okay, okay. I'll just get changed here. There. I, uh... I guess I'll put my clothes in the shower to dry off. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I, uh... I guess I have bulked up a bit. I mean, I did start working out last summer, so... I'd like to think it'd show by now. Yeah, I'd say around that time. Well, I had a lot of free time back then, so I just figured, why not? Well, what do you mean there's more to it? <laughs> Come on, what are you talking about? There's nothing else to it. I just decided to train, that's all. I'm telling you, there's nothing else to it. Can't a guy have a hobby? Yay, it has nothing to do with my sudden dating life. Alright. No, it has nothing to do with anything. Can't you just let this go? Well, tell you or else. Oh, please, or else wh Hey, stop, stop, stop. No fair. You know I'm ticklish. Come on. There's no room to move in here. Seriously, I'm gonna fall back on the... Ow, my head. Jeez, I kept telling you I was gonna fall on the couch if you didn't. Ah. Hey. What are you... What are you... Come on. This isn't funny. Get off me. It won't end well if I have to push you. You'll get off when I talk. Ugh, God. You've always been so stubborn. Fine. Fine, I'll talk. Just... Just please get off. This is kind of a... Dangerous situation for me. Okay. I will admit, 
my new look and recent dating life are connected. But it's not what you think. Do you remember our trip to the beach last summer? Yeah, that one. Well, I... The entire time we were there, I saw you staring at all these guys who were so much more built and masculine than I was. And, well... Yeah, that's why I started working out so much, okay? I thought... I thought you'd pay more attention to me afterwards. I mean, you've been so busy lately, and I thought you were pulling away from me. <laughs> but even when I thought I had your attention, I was still just a nervous wreck. I felt like I needed some kind of reassurance. Someone to tell me I'd be a real catch. And, well, that's where all the dating came from. They all knew it wasn't serious, but... I knew it was still kind of wrong for me to keep going like that. Well, why do you think I'd be nervous? Even if I had the look you liked, what would I do if you still rejected me? You're my best friend. I couldn't... I couldn't risk losing that. I... I couldn't risk losing you. I... I thought I'd lose it by saying... By saying I love you. I have for such a long time now, that's why I love seeing you any chance I got. Like, right now, I could have called someone, maybe got a taxi, something, but knowing you were nearby, I just wanted to see you. I... I'm sure you must have mixed feelings about this. I'm sorry for dropping all this on you. I just... I figured it was time to be honest. If... If you'd like me to leave, I could maybe call a friend or... Hey, who are you calling an idiot? I'm pouring my heart out here and you just... That was... I just... You... You like me back. <laughs> really? You're not joking? Sorry, I just... I've been wanting to do that for so long. And I'm just so happy right now. <laughs> yeah. Best blackout ever. Oh, right. I almost forgot. I still need to put on that bathrobe you got me. Don't I? I am just still in my briefs after all. Really? You prefer me this way? <laughs> I think I'll like this new side of you. Well, I've already come to love all of you, so that's no surprise. <laughs>